Hello, great and wondrous interwebs! It is I, David, poster child for unfit geeks throughout the world, um, and sweatiest, most miserable of all the Hewlett's, uh, here with another Burn and Learn. Uh, 66 minutes today, and I made a mistake, which uh, turned out to be a, a pleasant uh, pleasant surprise on the, uh, on the torture device today, so I'll tell you about that. I'm also competing with the 3D printer. I'm trying out uh, the evil Brian, or 3D Brian Vines, um, uh, idea of using multiple filaments even though you've got a single extruder. So I have this gorgeous um, Prusa Mark II, uh, fantastic machine, but a single filament. This, um, what this basically does is you, you basically, you pause it at key points, um, feed in the different filament, and then start it back up again. And, uh, or, well, you basically start it up again and feed the filament in, and then you can add a little color to your print. So I thought I would do, um, I would use this, uh, I, got, I got this like three pack, um, uh, of, uh, of rep cord, uh, filament. And, uh, so what I wanted to do is do like, uh, I've been printing these little unicorns, little flexi unicorns for, uh, my kids at, uh, McCordic. I have to clean this one up. It's still all got its, its brim and everything on it. But, um, and also it's got this horn, which is actually quite vicious. I dropped one yesterday and it missed my foot and then embedded itself. It was impaled in the, uh, uh, in the rubber mat. So I might, I might turn them into flexi horses. We may, I may de-unicorn them. Um, which I'm sure is very Voldemort of me. Um, so, uh, this is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son, to enjoy the coming twilight years with my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane. And I hate exercise. It's boring, so I like to learn something while I'm doing it. I like to share what I've learned with you the sweatiest, most miserable, and self-indulgent way possible. If you don't see a video, it means I haven't exercised, and you have been seeing videos because I have been exercising. Um, 66 minutes today. Yeah, I, um, I screwed up. I was like, God, this is awful. It was awful because the first half, I do two halves. I go forward and one, I do... If there's even a forward and a backwards on the elliptical torture device, I don't know. But basically, I move one way um, for for half of it and the other way for the other. Um, I heard Mick Jagger got a really nice butt by walking backwards a lot, so I thought I would work on that. Um, and uh, I tried to do half and half. The first half I found very painful, as it turns out, because I was set on seven resistance instead of six. So I persevered a little bit into the second one to try to even it out, but couldn't do it. Went back down to my six, but I'm still very happy because I did a full, you know, a full like 30, 35 minutes at least on um, on the resistance of seven. So yeah, so I'll feel that tomorrow for sure. Um, uh, speaking of tomorrow, there's a film uh, screening at the Carlton in Toronto, if you're around, called um, uh, Lie Exposed, which uh, uh, my fabulous friend uh, Jerry Ciccarini directed. Uh, Leslie Hope produced. It's got a million amazing Canadian actors in it. Um, it's got um, uh, just a number of these fun little stories. It's a, it's a it's a terrible terrible film to see with a couple because you'll come out and argue about what it's all about because it's it's basically the premise is fantastic. It's about an art show that um, uh, the exhibit is somewhat uh, shall we say not suitable for work. Um, and uh, it elicits very different responses from the two, you know, from couples who, are, who have been a, a sort of in attendance at this thing. It's kind of cool. Um, and uh, so that's happening tomorrow at the Carlton tomorrow evening. I'm not sure what time, but I'm sure if you're in town and you wanted to look, you will find out. Uh, and a whole bunch of us will be there. I'm really hoping to be there. Bratlett is... He's like the Corona kid here. He's like, he's, he's got a cold again. And I, it's like, he just can't shake this thing. So I'm really hoping he's going to be better tomorrow because if not, I'm probably going to have to have to hang with him. But anyways, uh, all good. Not worried about him. Just, he's just got to, you know, he's got to, he's got to work this thing through. We've been having a lot of fun watching YouTube and we've been watching um, Digital Corridor, like how to do visual effects and uh, some uh, rocket jump stuff. And um, there's a great series that a Digital Corridor does called... Um, uh, VFX artists react and they'll watch film, like good and bad films or bits of good and bad films and then discuss the video the video um, effects that they're doing. Um, and uh, what else? Yes, I should talk about the, I should talk about the learn of my burn. Uh, so, learn. Uh, back on Data Scientist, uh, the, the, the rundown of courses that they suggest for, for people interested in data science. Um, I am, boy, what am I I'm about? about three courses away from, from whatever it is that they give you at the end, a certificate of I've watched a lot of tutorials, basically, whatever that means. Uh, but we're using, uh, it was really fun today, actually. They had our studio, and we're using our studio to do the uh, K nearest neighbor uh, analysis on a whole bunch of data. And what I thought was kind of neat was they were looking at credit card uh, declines and acceptances. Uh, so it's basically randomized this information uh, being provided it as a donation from one of the you know the big 
visas or whatever. And uh, it, what, what it's trying to do is trying to figure out, is there a pattern that they could see in all the 24 different bits of information they have about people to tell whether this... Um, uh, you know whether this transaction was was fraud or not. Um, so it's just kind of cool in the way it breaks it down, and then you test it against, you split it into, you know, two thirds of it becomes the data that you work with, and then you save this one third to um, uh, to sort of uh, to make sure that what you've done with your data is is valid with all data, not just the data that you figured out. So basically, you don't want to over um, over classify your data to such an extent that when you then try to bring in new data, it doesn't work. So it's just, it's very, very cool. So it's all these little techniques that I, I would have never, you would never know about unless you're doing a nerdy course like this. So, uh, working on that, I'm working on a video for Let's Talk Science, which is really fun, um, which is for their, um, Let's Talk Science, uh, challenge this year. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that actually. Uh, we'll see. Um, anyways, I'm working on a video for them. Uh, actually, I actually have now an idea for another one as well, which I think I might try. Um, I've got this 3D print going with three different types of rep core. And, uh, and what else of, of interest do I have for you? Um, and yeah, trying to figure out what to do with Tech Bandits because uh, the strike action continues, so I have no Tech Bandits again tomorrow. Um, I've got some video stuff to do. And uh, I think that covers all the bases. Uh, it's time for me to make some lunch. Yesterday I took the kid out for, for Burger Priest. We went and had chicken burgers from Burger Priest because we're not, we're not big on the beef right now. Um, you know, they just got those big eyes and they look so happy. I uh, certainly the ones in England anyways. And we're trying to debate whether, they go to, whether we're gonna go travel or not for the March break because of uh, all this, uh, you know, Corona apocalypse going on. So um, anyways, until we geek again, sweaty or not, it better be sweaty because it means I've exercised. And big thanks to Hypixel, by the way. I've been researching the, uh, the high tail game, which just looks amazing. Um, and uh, so I thought, you know, in keeping with that, I would wear this fantastic Hypixel um, uh, sort of running shirt that they that they provided. Uh, I guess it's a gaming shirt, but it's uh, it's actually perfect for the torture device. Um, and they were very kind to sort of do. They put an SGA on it and, and sent it to me and, and Bradley. And uh, I just I have a I have a great uh, fondness and affinity for Hypixel. We loved it for Minecraft, um, and we just adore what it looks like they're doing with uh, with Hytale. So I can't wait. I want to get on that beta on that for sure. So until we get again, Twitter dot. Bye bye.